Morning Freaky for Life members, this is Dr. Rob Van Bergen and welcome back to another 10 minute training. Continuing through our member requested videos, uh, today we're gonna be discussing glaucoma and what we can do to treat it. So a healthy optic nerve is necessary for good vision. Glaucoma is a term that refers to a whole number of different conditions that can end up resulting in damage to the optic nerve. Um, often, but not always, this is related to increased pressure in the eye. Now, glaucoma can eventually cause blindness. And in fact, it is one of the top causes of blindness in people over 60. So it's nothing to be taken lightly. Now, there are are a few treatments that we can do with microcurrent to help with glaucoma. And this is one of the few um, eye condition treatments that does not actually require the goggles to get good effect. Um, this is not because they won't help the goggles, but rather because little wings uh, may prove to be more effective. Performing the little wings technique will actually take pressure off of the optic nerve. And this will considerably improve uh, blood flow to the head and, uh, and you know, all that good circulation stuff as well. Um, it, but it's mainly that relieving of the pressure. So beyond this, we do have some eye treatment advice that can be done with the goggles as well. And I do, I do like it. I think, you know, it's, it's definitely worth incorporating them in. But first off, let's take a look at the little wings protocol and how to perform it. All right. So I have my Vazia Life Pinnacle here, but any of our devices have the base program for this. So when you turn on the device, you're going to scroll down either by pressing the mode button or the arrow buttons, depending on your device, until you find 121 Hertz. Now you can see here, I have locked 121 Hertz in by pressing the middle button on here. If you're using the Evolution or the Genesis, you don't need to lock it in. As long as the LED lights up next to it, you are good to go. Now, this is the base mode. This is the general way of doing this. So you're going to want a Y probe. I have done little wings without it before, but it's not easy to do. So you're going to put the Y probe behind your ear like so. And you're going to drag the electrode down in a straight line into the neck and push it in right where the neck meets the torso. Okay. Then you're going to hold your plus button down on your device. And you're going to do that until you feel it. You should feel your shoulder lifting and dropping. And as you can see, my shoulder is involuntarily raising up. It takes a second there. And then it pulls it up. And you want to make sure you do these flaps, as we call them, five times on each side. So I'm at four right now. So there you go. We're up. That is flap number five. So then I stop. And I do the whole thing again on this side. Now, I don't bother turning the power down here, but you could if you were worried about it being less comfortable on one side. Go down, put it in, and wait for it to go off. Okay? So this involuntary movement here, we've got both sides, is, is actually, just move that a little bit back a bit further. There we go. Um, is actually going to be helping to relieve pressure on here. Now, sometimes your neck will pull to the side as your shoulder pulls up, other times it won't. So it's a pretty simple protocol to perform. And once you've done five on each side, you've balanced it out. Now, some people struggle with little wings. I know that there's probably people watching this right now that have never been able to get the flaps to go up. Um, those with the pinnacle though, um, or the pro sport may be able to do it a little differently. So what you're going to do if you have those devices is you're going to go into AVA. So I recommend you turn the device on and you hit the up arrow until you see AVA. It should be about the fourth or fifth one in the line. So you lock it in, it says AVA on the screen, I'm trying to get a good point there. You can see AVA. And then you hit the right arrow twice until you see it says frequency 59.35 that's exactly the right frequency you want to be at so you keep going so you hit the right arrow 
a few more times until you see damping. You see it says damping zero there on the screen. So hold the up arrow, this, this up arrow here, to add damping. I'm gonna go all the way up to damping seven, as you can see there, okay? Then you hit the right arrow again, and it says mod off. Now at this point, you're gonna hit the up arrow to add modulation, and you want three to one modulation, which is the main reason we use um, 121 hertz, because it has that built into it. But this frequency is a gentler approach. So it's gonna be more comfortable and allow you to push the power up higher while pushing the frequencies deeper in to hopefully get the required grip. So I'm gonna do this again, exact same technique. Take the Y probe, put it behind the ear, drag it straight down into the neck and adjust the power until you can feel it start to lift. Now, it is a lot less um, what I would call bitey when you do it this way. It's, it's really kind of a seamless um, technique. It doesn't really feel as strong or as intense. So you can probably get this more comfortably. It's also going to go deeper in. So for those of you who are struggling with it, you should be able to get it deeper into the body um, and actually get past some of these blockages that are preventing you from doing little wings. So I do encourage that um, if you want to be able to try. And of course, I have to balance out both sides. You should never end a little wings with just, um, you should never end, end a little wings um, without doing it evenly on each side. It's not, it's not good for you to not be in balance. But you can see it's a lot less of a jerky movement on this mode. But it's that three to one modulation that lifts it for three seconds and then lets it go. Okay, so that's step one to treating glaucoma. Doing little wings daily is something that we absolutely should do. Beyond little wings uh, to relieve pressure, treatment of the eyes can be done with the goggles as well. And many of you already own the goggles um, or are on the wait list for the next batch of goggles. Um, you're going to start with 77 hertz um, or your, your blue relax mode. This is because you want to make sure that any scarring that has been affecting the, the optic nerve or the eye is neutralized. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to heal properly with the eye. So you're going to start there doing just three minutes with your goggles on this 77 hertz frequency for scars. Then you're going to switch to around 7 to 12 hertz for three minutes of treatment. So you're gonna do three minutes of 77, three minutes of seven to 12. Following that, to treat glaucoma, what you want to do is you want to do just three minutes a day of seven to 12 hertz, your alpha frequency program through the goggles after you perform little wings. It's a very, very simple protocol. And while these treatments do work best on acute glaucoma, because you can kind of just balance that pressure straight away and stop it from becoming chronic, they also do have astonishing effects on chronic glaucoma as well. So you're normalizing the pressure in the eye, and this can prevent the worsening of the condition, and in some cases, even reverse it. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. And as usual, if you found this video helpful, I ask you to drop a like, comment, so it stays at the top of the page for everyone else to see. And if you have any questions about the technique or anything I've described today, especially with that AVA frequency for um, for, for uh, little wings, if that's confusing to you, please ask those clarifying questions. There's no need to be stuck on it. Just drop those in the comments and I will get back to you on them. Um, otherwise, I will see you next week for another Monday. 10 minute training. Thank you, everyone. You guys have an awesome week. Bye-bye.